I would like to request that there, as a way of ensuring confidence in this project, that there be a project website where I can go and see, I can track the steps along the way and see how long it might take to find out a certain what's going on. Um, the internet is very, very uh, readily available to everybody, and it's definitely. You know, instead of calling up all of your people once a week and finding out whether anything has changed, it would be a lot nicer to be able to just go on the web and see, go to a website for this project and say, what happened last week, what happened the week before, what happened the week before, what were the minutes from the meeting, what were the, you know, who are the parties involved, what actions are being taken by each group. Karen, I'm we, we're actually in the, in, the, in the process of constructing the website, so uh, I think, Karen, you want to talk for a minute about the website? Well, Is there going to be a project website? A what web, yeah, so we haven't um, constructed one yet, but I think what we're going to do is have a place where people can go for information, a place where we can post reports, a place where you can sign up for the um, listserv. Um, what else do you want? Well, we'll call it tonight, Sage. We want to see what yeah. <coughs> meeting minutes, um, mm -hmm. what actions so, are being taken by each agency. Yeah, so basically what, we're, what we've been doing up front here is documenting what we hear. Right. And so we're going to summarize that and write it up and send it out to everybody who's on the sign-up sheet. Great. Okay. If you haven't hit the sign-up sheet, folks, sign it up. <laughs> and, and, and will that be on the website also? Uh, sure. the, the tonight's yeah. Yeah. The other you thing. Put anything up there you want. And you well, well, this is for this is for all the notes and. Uh, yeah. And could could the videotape could the videotape of tonight's program be something people could click on? Um, watch? We have a new I, we have I a can new can web can environment that I think we can stream on. But I are we actually do they is the I've never uploaded a video yet on it. It's a I, new I could put it on YouTube and I could yeah. give you a link. Yeah, sure. Maybe that would be maybe cool. there would be a forum or a. A blog and a forum <laughs> where we could post um, things like that. Like, I have this video from the meeting. Oh, well, yeah, and I don't know how that works yeah. as far as a state agency. Sure. For sure, you know, you could just email it to me and I can put it up. Sure. But I don't know if there's that interactive thing. Sure. We'll follow up on that. Uh, yeah, in terms of our, our technical ability, this point yeah. 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 The other thing is um, when. ODF started collecting spray notices, or I should say uh, timber operation notices. Uh, as, a, as far as I know, that's actually done because it, it meshes with the Department of Revenue and property values go up and down based on what's occurring. There's a severance tax. And, um, not for big timber, there's not. What um, the, the process of finding out what was sprayed in the neighborhood after it has been sprayed is almost ridiculously difficult. Um, right now you have to, you can get a free subscription if you're 10 miles, within 10 miles and downstream of a spray operation on a registered water right. You can get that for free, otherwise it's $25 per section or something. And um, per year. And I, I just cannot believe that it's, this information is not readily available on the internet at this time. And I'd like it to be. Is there someone I can talk to? to you can talk to me. Uh, we're going through a process uh, just starting now looking at efficiency and effectiveness. Uh, the notifications originally, they do have a nexus with revenue for the harvest tax collection. They used to have a nexus with severance tax. We used to use that information geographically to calculate the expected value of the timberlands. That program doesn't exist anymore, so you have the right history. It also serves as notification for fire protection. Um, we are looking at a way of beginning. We used to post all notifications on our website up until about two years ago when we had a huge reduction in force and our web security chain, stuff like that. We're looking at a process. I'd like to get rid of subscription altogether and because it's not very efficient and effective. It costs us more time. We're looking at that and begin to evaluate it. It will take rule changes. I already got some rule changes done this last legislative session to be able to send that information out 
uh, you know, electronically, and to have that that count in a much more right. efficient, effective way. So we are looking at that. It'd be great. It would be actually easier for us if we just posted all notifications. The challenge will be uh, information is collected all over, and we need to do it to keep up with the same spirit of the notifications within you know, uh, within a weekly basis, updating it constantly weekly because they come in throughout the year. So right. we're working on that and... Right, I think people would like to be able to enter a date or a date range and a geographic area range and find out what... And Tim, I guess timber operations would be helpful also, you know, did my neighbor, when did my neighbor cut down this tree or whatever, but for what is planned to. But, for this group, that really would make it nice for finding out what they spray. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if it's a question, but um, I read an article, I think it's an article just the other yeah. day, that uh, it said that there was a big study done recently in the last few years that showed that the chemical revolution and the big uh, agricultural revolution is not feeding the world at all. It's destroying the earth. Yeah. It's that okay. used to feed the world. And I don't know if anybody has read the study. I didn't say anything. I didn't see the study. It only alluded to the fact that there was a big study.